Okay, this morning we're going to say why hydrogen and why now. We're going to talk about why hydrogen is important now and how it can help you. The bottom is that uh, drinking or breathing hydrogen, what it means to you and how, is, how it works for you. On the hand, I'll go to the back page. There's 27 different research papers I type back here. And uh, it tells you how the suppression of it, the invasion of cancer cells, fix how it helps you in cardiac, therapeutic, rheumatoid arthritis. That's two places, type 2 diabetes, cholesterol, Parkinson's disease, bipolar disorders, how it works with plants, type 2 diabetes again. And there's 650 different researches out. They also do uh, hypertension, anti-obesity, the grillion. If you uh, drink the hydrogen, it, it enhances the grillion hormone, which suppresses your appetite, and they're claiming that you get 15% weight loss just from drinking hydrogen. Anti-diabetic, anti-diabetic, diabetic again, pancre pancreas, uh, type 1 diabetes, type 1 diabetes. So you can see there's a lot of therapeutic benefits from it. It's already been researched and proven. Now, everything I'm saying is from the research. I get it from Molecular found Foundation MoleculaRHydrogenFoundation.org. They have all 650 research papers there. You can pull them up. You can read them. They have them all different on different uh, categories so that you can go and uh, find out. Say if you have type 2 diabetes, you can read. There's like seven or eight on that, research on that. You can see what you can do to help yourself. Okay. I'm sorry, you said molecular hydrogen foundation.org. Now, we all know what hydrogen is, right? One proton, one electron. Oh, let's see. I'm not going to find the right one. This is the symbol for it. It's an H with a dot on the top. Now, hydrogen is more than that. If you have... Um, the proton, proton, and you strip off the electron, now you have an H with a plus. Now hydrogen is neutral, but this now is positive, because you only have the proton. Okay, this is called hydrogen ciation, C-A-T-I-O-N. That is part of your pH. Then if you have hydrogen, a proton, and two electrons, now it's negative. So hydrogen is in its form of one proton, one electron, is neutral. Now you have a negative and a positive. That's part of your pH. Now molecular hydrogen, or diatomic, or dihydrogen, H2. Now you have two hydrogens. You have two protons, two electrons, and they're stuck together, chemically bonded together. Now that is what is given the therapeutic healing or changes in your body. We call it, shortcut, you call it H2, or molecular hydrogen, or, or medical hydrogen. Now, hydrogen is the lightest and simplest element. So you know you have it with one proton, a proton, one electron, a proton, two electrons. You can have two protons and two electrons. So there's four different ways. And there's other ones, other names, atomic hydrogen. There's all kinds of different ways to do it. Now, in, when you have your pH, we all know 7 is neutral, right? So when you have 7, that means you have the same amount of, of the negative one and the same amount of the positive one. That means you're neutral. Now, as you go more alkali, you have to have more of the alkali one. That would be the, the hydride, hydrogen atom that has one proton, two electrons. So our body supposed to be seven or above. Now the American diet, yes. Seven point three, five, seven. Right. And if it changes even a little bit, what happens to you? Or you go to the hospital quickly. And from your arteries. And that's where you that's where you get your what goes there and patches the hole? 
cholesterol. Any more questions? I was trying not to get too technical that take too long. No, that's fine. Okay, so then the, the biomedical research of hydrants in infancy, they only have 650 articles published, 1,600 researchers. This year alone, there's over 500 ongoing research projects. They did uh, three of them on Parkinson's, two are published, the last one they just finished. And Parkinson's, I seem to like more than others because I have two friends with Parkinson's. And that's how I got into the medical side of hydrogen. I have been making hydrogen generators since 2009, but I put them on vehicles, on the engines to get better fuel mileage. So it's just the last year or so I've been doing uh, the medical side. So now you have molecular hydrogen can be administered inhalation. You can, you can take this and put it in a breathing mask, you can breathe it, okay? Most commonly, the, they breathe 4.6 parts per million or less because 4.6 parts or greater is explosive. Now this is putting out way more than 4.6 parts per million. And you could take a match down here to the bubbles and you could, it could pop. And uh, when you're doing, when you're drinking it, this method here, you can only get 1.6 parts per million in this water at this room temperature because that's all will stay in it okay it won't hold it now if you could cap it put a pressure relief valve and put pressure you can go up to four four and a four point five it still won't explode because it's it's in the water now they're also doing intravenous injections with saline and uh, i just heard they do it in germany and i know they do it in china and japan they also do topical which is a bath you can sit in a bath and you can bubble it in the bath and your your wrinkles in your skin go away because the hydrogen goes in and repairs it and gets it more elasticity so your wrinkles go away and uh, there's a there's a man somewhere in the midwest i forgot exactly where i talked to him and he actually uh been breathing it for about two hours a day for like three four years and his scars on his body went away and he said he said he said molds and stuff they just go away he says because scars are only a temporary patch he was telling me now he also said his hair is growing back so he was bald and now he's got a little every year he gets another half inch of hair grows around his head because somehow the hydrogen is repairing the roots of his hair and it's growing back he also says his hair color is coming back because he was snow white three years ago and now he's a little bit gray. Now you can also take it uh, hyperbaric, which means you get in a chamber and because hydrogen will just go right through your body because it's, it's so small, it's just, there's nothing can stop it. You can ingest it. And then you can also, if you have the right probiotics, and you don't have leaky gut and you have good int intestinal um, microbes, you also make a liter of hydrogen in your intestines every day. And when you make it, it goes through your body and repairs it. Now, the great American diet kind of suppresses that because you don't, it, because it kills everything. Everything good has been ruined by the American diet. But if you get into some uh, probiotics and stuff, you can get it back up and you can make your own. It won't be enough to do a lot of healing, but it will help. Okay, the most common methods that we do is we breathe it or we drink it. My wife and I, when we get up in the morning, we have our worship, we breathe it. We each have our own machine. We breathe it while we're studying the Bible. Now, drinking it, we, I try to drink it all day long. I mean, I, I, if, you, if you make a jar like this, and you probably only have to go 10, 20 minutes because it's saturated. Once you, you can keep bubbling, but it's, it's going to be saturated. This water will have a half-life of about two hours. So when you get it up to 1.6, that means two hours from now, you'll still be eight. Medical dose is 0.5 parts per million to 1.6 parts per million. So all of the research they're trying to use 1.6 parts per million. And there's some that they can 
compress it in the bottle and get up to four. Now, if you do, do, do. when you inhale it, your peak plasma level in your body will reach in 30 minutes. You don't have to breathe it 30 minutes. It'll last about 60 minutes. So by breathing it, it goes in real quick, but it leaves quick. And I think when I breathe it, I think I'm getting around 6 or 7% because I do it quite a bit higher, but we don't smoke, we don't have that, so it's not explosive unless you put a flame to it. Now the water, let's see. When you're breathing the H2, again, you only want 4.6. That's, that's what the medical hydrant is suggesting. Half-light of the water is shorter than other gaseous drinks. The ingestion of it reaches a plasma level in, in, when you drink it in 5 to 15 minutes. They say that when you drink it within 2 minutes, it's all through your system. It goes that fast. But you'll be at the maximum in 5 to 15 minutes after drinking it. But only lasts 45 minutes to 90 minutes. So if you want a continuous dose, like you're trying to fix type 2 diabetes or cancer, you want to drink it all day long. Keep a solid dose up there. Okay. Now, H2 reduces your OH radicals. So now you have oxidation. We have too much oxidation from American diet, but then you have reduction. So oxidation and reduction, they're supposed to be balanced, and then you have a healthy body. If you get too much of one or too much of the other one, that's where the sickness and illness comes in. If you get too much oxidation, that's when you get chronic diseases like high blood pressure, um, ulcers, you get, I mean, everything that we have now is basically, we ate us, ate ourselves to illness. Okay, I wrote a paper on uh, um, death by fork. Okay, so they have like an example is like eggs. They made seven research on eggs. So they say if you eat eggs, you will get prostate cancer if you're male, breast cancer if you're female. So they say the, the non-lethal dose of eggs is half an egg per week. Now you can find that in uh, How Not to Die. Let's see. How Not to Die by Dr. Michael Greger. He has his researches in there. So we are eating ourselves to the grave. Now the rheumatoid arthritis is really good on the hydrogen. Now I have arthritis in my knee. And I have uh, two construction accidents from it and a motorcycle accident. So my knee, when I used to step up a curb or even up a step on a stairway, I used to get a shooting pain in there. So I thought, okay, let me drink this hydrogen. It's going to fix it up. I, one week, nothing. Two weeks, nothing. The 13th day, I went up the stairway. I had no pain. I just walked right up. And I thought, oh, this is cool. And so it fixed it. It's still sore, but the pain is gone. And I don't mind sore. That's... That is the pain. Then we have another friend who has Parkinson. He's 86 years old and he shakes. He can't even eat. He shakes so much. So he had a machine similar to this one. He started drinking the water. Within two days, he could force his hand to stay still if he concentrated on it. When he wasn't thinking, he still had some tremors to it. But he could, he could which we were all surprised because we heard that it did that, but uh, no, but I know I, I didn't really see it until him. Then I had another friend, and he was drinking it for about three weeks, and half his symptoms were gone. So I went in. This, there's a, there's a, a university professor in Goyer University in Japan, Doctor. I think it's Oho, if I can say his name right. He was trying to prove that hydrogen doesn't work. So he had 10 rats, he gave, he injected them with pesticides, they all got Parkinson's. He had another 10 rats, same thing, injected them with pesticides, they all got Parkinson's. The first group, he only fed them water, same food. Second group, he fed them hydrogenated water, and same food. The first group got Parkinson's and died. Second group got Parkinson's and lived and Parkinson's went away. Now he's thinking, this ain't right, I was trying to prove it was a hoax. So then he took 89, second research he did, it's, it's in the it's in research. I have, this is the index of all the research. I copied out the index. 
So in here, he has, you can look it up. Second one, he took 89 females, 89 males, did a double blind placebo where they didn't know who had the water and who didn't have the water. And everybody drank a liter of water. Some was regular water, some was hydrogenated water. Did it for 48 weeks. At the end, the ones that had the hydrogenated water, 50% of their symptoms were gone. The other ones got worse. So he said, well, let's do another one. What would happen if they drank hydrogenated water all day long? So we had another one. And this one is done. We heard the report, but it's not published. And I don't remember if it was 300 or 30 patients, but he did the same thing, double blind placebo. He sent them all to the doctor. 50% of them, the doctor said, you no longer have Parkinson's. Now, according to the medical, that's not possible because it's like a death sentence. You get worse and worse and worse. Your brain cannot connect to your, to your nerve endings. So they don't know why the hydrogen did it. Hydrogen is not that strong to do it by itself. But now they've figured out that hydrogen will turn on 200 biomolecules. It'll alter them. And also it'll turn on over 1,000 gene expressions. So what they think, the hydrogen goes in, does some work for you, but it starts turning switches and turning machines on in your body to fix you. And so they now, most of the research is trying to find out why you get fixed, why it's doing it. Okay? Because it does various cell modulating. It's responsible for mediating anti-inflammatory, anti-allergenic, anti-obesity effects. It's also beneficial, it's really beneficial in obesity and, and metabolism by increasing the expression of your FGF21 hormones. There's over 40 different studies on this, and I list them down at the bottom of the page. Any questions? Yes. Have there been any of any adverse effects? There's no adverse effects, there's no safety problems if you take too much in you, you either breathe it out or go through your skin. There's zero bad effects from this at all. Anything else? Are there any contraindications? In other words, something that you should not take while you're taking a hydrogen water? The only thing they say that if you are doing something that's giving you a problem and you take the hydrogen, it can help you with the symptoms and stuff but it cannot cure it or make it go away or because you continue. It's like hitting yourself with a hammer. Well, you can put a Band-Aid on, next day you hit it again. You put another Band-Aid on. So, so you, if you're eating something wrongly, you need to change your diet. Because uh, if you have a pH of five, five and a half, that is where cancer loves to be, okay? If you have a pH of seven, it's not happy. If you have an eight, eight and a half, like the corrective diet. If you have your pH up higher, cancer is suppressed, it is stunted, it, it doesn't grow. So if you have, if you're doing something wrong and you keep doing it, the hydrogen will help your symptoms, but you can't get cured from it. You can't get, you can't get rid of it. Yes, if you stop putting gasoline on the fire, you can, you can grow grass on it later. <laughs> yes? Is there a way in nature to make hydrogen water? Is there, is it, can it come out of the earth? There is three springs in the world. One's in Portuguese, one is Italy, and one is, I forget the other one. And they sell the gallons of water, $10, and it has been proven to heal people. So the Molecular Foundation sent three doctors to three places and they tested the water and it does have small amounts of hydrogen in it and they found out that there's some magnesium deposits underground and it reacts with other minerals and gives off hydrogen in the water. So there are also magnesium pills you can buy and you can drop them in the glass of water and it bubbles. They don't know if the magnesium will give you some problems down the line because you don't know how you know, it's not been out that long. You might get magnesium poisoning or overload or something, but they are selling them, yes. Does the, there's no, 
hydrogen in seawater, but does the action of the waves cause any hydrogenation? No. So no, it paralyzed iodine. Because hydrogen, one molecule, one proton, cannot exist in our universe because it's missing the electron in its outer shell, so it has to have electrons, so it has to attach to something. So our most common, we have oxygen, it has an extra <coughs> electron, so hydrogen and oxygen, that's where you get your water from. You cannot get it unless you force it to be separated and compress it and put it in a tank. You cannot have hydrogen by itself. So you can't make it. It is there in the water, but it's bound in the water. It can't be released unless you split it with, with uh, electro electrolysis. That, that That's what this does. Electro Electrolyzer is, is what it does inside. That is uh, positive negative. You put um, 12 volts on it, and as it goes through the plates, the, hyd the hydrogen in the water sees an easier electron to hold on, it grabs that electron from the electricity and splits itself. It can only do that, um, it only can stay split if you have negative or positive pressure on it. If you put this in like this hose and you run it 12 feet, it would come out water on the other end, moisture, because it only stays split positive negative pressure. If you go to atmospheric pressure, it will grab another oxygen and become water. So one gallon of distilled water in here will make 1,600 gallons of, of gas. That's how much is trapped in there. Any more questions? Yes. How do I get the You can see Ramon. Uh, he's the dealer here. I actually made this myself. And so he's the dealer for this area. And uh, I also make a kit for those who do it yourself, but it's complicated to make and it's it doesn't look nice like this it doesn't have a case and stuff so that's for some people who are hands-on do-it-yourself type guys and uh, don't mind to look like it was made in the garage yep. but most most women don't like that so this is this is what we went to any more questions i guess we're done then oh you got yeah. You mean like the ionized water? Seltzer. The, seltzer. seltzer water? Seltzer water has, has pushed inside of it CO2. Okay? And so it's, it's put in there under pressure. So it's a mineral water. And if, you're, if you need minerals in your life, then that's okay. But this, we don't put it under pressure. But this is the same as seltzer water, except we're using hydrogen. But we only get a 0.6 parts. If we did like a seltzer and force it in, we could go as high as like six parts per million on it. There are some companies trying to do that, and they do make like a soda bottle of it, but the trouble is hydrogen is so small, it goes right through the glass. It goes right through the stainless steel. The only thing that slows it down is aluminum bottles. So you can put an aluminum bottle, and it'll last up to 24 hours. So anybody who's selling you hydrogenated water in a bottle, most likely there's nothing there. Okay, ionizer, if you go on the internet, you can find a YouTube video of this engineer who made an ionizer, and he sold $15 trillion worth of it in the last 10 years. And he's on there, and he's confessing that they thought it was the pH from the ionizer that was healing everybody. They found out it was a little bit of hydrogen, hydrogenated water that was in there that was healing people. So now he's apologized to the public, and we are, he said, we are redesigning it so it makes hydrogen. And there's only one company that has been successful. It's called Echo, Echo 1, I think it is, or Echo 2. And they use platinum plates in it, and they sell, they sell it. The small one is selling for $2,500. And so I try to keep the price down so normal people can afford that. And, so, and you don't need platinum to make it. This is, 360, this is stainless steel in here. I, this is... This one, the inside is made in China. I make one that's 316L, stainless steel, which is the hardest one you can get. There's no iron in it, and mine lasts about five to 10 years. This one is from China on the insides. I just re redid the whole thing. 
And that one, we don't know how long it's going to last. Because, yes. Good question. We do not put it in aluminum because we are scared of aluminum because there's, I haven't did the research on it, but we heard that the aluminum can go and stick in your brain and short circuit your brain. So we basically make it as we drink it. We, we make a thing and if, if it's fresh, then if I have it, I, sell, I take it to my wife, here's, here's some fresh hydrogenated water. Yes. You could use aluminum foil, it would also stop it from leaving. Like you take a quart jar, you can put it around it and put some on top. It would last longer. Especially if you're like going to work, you want to take some to work, you don't have room to take a machine or a place to do it and stuff, you could put it in even a gallon jug and wrap it up with aluminum foil on the outside and take it to work. It doesn't go through the aluminum for some reason, I don't know why, but they say it goes through stainless steel like it's not there, it goes through glass like it's not there. Yes, have a lid. We use take a little, you can take a little patch of it over there and put it on top because it will go through the, the lid then. Any more questions? We had uh, a friend from our church, uh, if, I'm, if I remember this right, he, he was a diabetic for 20 years. He was taking insulin slots for 20 years. He went on the corrective diet, did the lemon fast for four days, and he was doing the hydrogen. And it's been about four to six weeks he has not had to have any insulin because his, the diet plus the hygiene has kind of got him in repair mode, and he's very happy. And he also, when he go to potluck at church, eat a lot of food, he'd instantly go in the, in the pew and go to sleep because he couldn't stay awake because of the diabetes. Now he says he's got lots of energy, he's running around, he doesn't go to sleep. He's, he's up moving around talking to people. So, I mean, we have... A few people who we have some success stories on. Any more questions? I think we're done. My name is Lori. I'm 34 years old and I've come to the Lifeline Wellness Center three days ago and as part of the protocol, I, my blood was tested and we looked at it under a microscope and we could see all my red blood cells were clumped. In fact, my, my blood wasn't looking very good at all. And just as a little experiment, we decided to have me drink a glass of the hydrogenated water, waited about 15 minutes, and then just looked at my blood again. We pricked, um, got some new blood, looked at it, and it was really shocking and really surprising to see the red blood cells all of a sudden were just free floating. Everything was clean. I could see the shape of the blood cells. Um, it was in vast contrast to what we had seen before. And that was just like about 15 minutes after drinking the water. And I guess this is the effect that, um, that the water has. And yeah, it was great to see. Is that it? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> We, all, we did it, my wife and I did it at our house also. We did it early in the morning, didn't eat, so the blood was minus kind of clumpy, even though even though I try not to. Drink the, it just spread all out. And when I first looked at my blood some months ago, it was all stuck together. And we'd go, oh, there's one moving, there's one. They were all stuck together. Now the things are just all over the place having fun. <laughs> and that's good because... If your brain cells only got small capillaries, only one blood cell at a time can go in one or two. And so if you have clumps, they, you can't feed your brain, you can't get oxygen, what happens to that cell? Most likely it dies. And so kind of like my brain cells. So. so it only lasts, according to research, it only lasts about 90 minutes and then it starts getting sticky again. So it's important. I mean, everybody who's been drinking it, their blood is moving around, and it's really good for inflammation because now you're getting blood to your swelling and it can be reduced and the pain goes away. If, if I'm talking to a, a man and I'm trying to be the good old boy type, I'll say, when you go hunting, you don't take one bullet, do you? You take a lot of bullets. So hydrogen is only one bullet. 
corrective diet is many more bullets because you're eating all the different types of food and all the different types of things. Said so, if you have cancer or if you have diabetes, don't just take one bullet. I mean, you can take the medicine from the doctor because we don't say we shouldn't do that, but you want to watch yourself because your body will know what you need. So you take the medicine, you take the hydrogen, you correct your diet and stuff. All of a sudden, you don't have type 2 diabetes. Okay? So you don't want to just pin your hopes on one thing. You, it's, it's a whole program. The hydrogen itself helps, but what it does, it turns switches in your body. So you're, you have pieces of equipment that aren't working. It's in dormancy. It turns it on and stuff, and all of a sudden, you, your whole body is working for you as God planned it. Any more questions? There we go. 50% of the world's made from hydrogen. Your body is not by weight, but your body, for molecules, 50% of your body is hydrogen. But hydrogen is so light, it's not by weight. But your body, because the whole, everything is, is pinned down. They used to think oxygen was what we're, they're trying to do. Now they figured out we should have went to the other side. That's hydrogen that's going to heal you. Any more questions? Barb. You have one. Yes. Oh, the machine. You put the water in here. It's got a stainless steel container inside. It's got plates in it. And it's got over here on this side, it has a power unit. It takes 110 volts and puts in at 12 volts. It comes up here to the timer. The timer has 10, 20, 30, and 60 minutes. 60 minutes, you use it if you're breathing it. 30 minutes, according to the, the literature, says that that's your, your dose. But if you do it longer, you just get more of it everywhere. And so right now it's on an hour, but you don't need that much. If you percolate this 10 to 20 minutes, you're going to hit saturation. Yes. Now, when you, when you clean it, you just take the top off. Don't ever open the top or relief, relief valve while it's going because it shoots stuff all over the place. And inside of it has um, sodium hydroxide because if you use a non-distilled water, like a filtered water or whatever, when you split the gas, you leave all the minerals, and they build up in the bottom, and it gets black and dirty and really nasty. So you want to use distilled water. And then since electricity can't go through distilled water, you have to use some kind of electrolyte, and we use sodium hydroxide. And, yeah. 50 grams. You add it to inside here. Then the water comes up here. Now, if you ever taste the water, it has a taste to it, because... Hydrogen is odorless, tasteless. If you ever have a taste to it, that's time to stop it, clean the two filters, and start over. You can just use tap water in there. Because if it has a taste, that means the electrolytes coming through. And these are here so it doesn't come through. From what I understand, it's not a problem, but you don't want to taste something that's... I, I like clean, pure water myself. Any more? That's what I do in my house. We ozonate it, which brings the pH up. And then we hydrogenate it because when you ozonate it, it makes it purify. It takes all the chlorine, takes all the bad stuff out, so you have a nice base. Plus, it's more alkali, and it just gets stronger. So I have machines, but since I was moving, I haven't been able to test how high it is in there. But we are assuming since it's alkali, the more alkali it is. So there are some crazy people put baking soda in there. I, they say you shouldn't do that just to get more. So, but... Ozonated water is pH around 8, so you get more hydrogen than just regular a water at 7. Some water, you get, it's like from a tap, even through a filter, it's like 5, 5, 6, and so you'd have less in there.